What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 54540 TV in the building. Gang, gang. Listen, man, I haven't done that in so long. It's probably been, what, maybe three months, three, four months since I dropped the video. Man, I've had so much going on, but I am back in business making videos i'm going on vacation tomorrow actually and i'm gonna try to get some video footage and vlogs for tomorrow but i've been working so you know you gotta understand that but i've been working so i am back you know showing his ways off pretty much i'm back showing my ways off so you know got a little update video for y'all i'm back just pretty much showing you know my ways or whatever the updates on my ways got a couple couple stuff that i um pretty much fixed some stuff that i'm still working on so you know of course dealing with ways it's a slow process you know ways don't just come quick even though you find people who like really don't brush and have ways, you know, they brush somewhat, um, but they don't brush enough to even care about ways that you brush to make sure their hair is neat looking. So, um, yeah, man, so I am back with a wave update video. Listen, man, I am so close to reaching uh, my goal for YouTube, and, you know, I put myself at a halt for not trying to produce more videos or produce something, you know, again, I get off at 4.30, so you know, I've been trying to work certain stuff in and just doing videos. I just been out of it, pretty much. I just been out of it. And I've not been wanting to do videos, so I am back. One of my boys, um, Jarrell Rogers, actually, you know, kind of like, bruh, get back on it, bruh. Get back on your grind. So here I am, back on my grind. All right, again, man, this video is gonna be just pretty much a wave update video, just to show out what my waves are looking like. And again, some parts I fix, you know, some some parts I think I might have. By the way, this rag is Ocean View Beauty. Um, go cop this rag. I think it was like seven dollars, which isn't bad for a designer rag. I mean, not a designer rag, but a fashion rag, you know. So pretty good. Uh, I like this rag. It's very thin. I don't really wear it really to bed. I might just like wear it out somewhere, but I got my thick rags and wear the bed, which I got those from Ocean View Beauty also. So, but go check those out. Oh, look, make sure y'all follow me on IG at 540TV. Follow me on IG at 540TV because you know we are in the building. Game, game, right? Look, follow me on IG, you know what I'm saying? I will follow you back. DM me, you know what I'm saying? If you have any tips or whatever that you want me to share with you, I don't mind sharing it, you know, it's whatever. And I want everybody to have great ways. I want everybody to be prosperous, everybody to progress in whatever that they're trying to do, you know what I mean? So, so look, I'm gonna show y'all my ways, man. I'm gonna show y'all what parts I fixed, what parts I kind of changed up, pulling out new brushes to see, just seeing how the other brushes work versus the other one. Uh, because, you know, you got medium hard, you got hard, you got, uh, medium soft, you know, you know, different uh, textures of brushes um, as far as for the comfort level of your scalp and your hair. So here is the video that I've been trying to do while I've been doing all this stuff. All right, so let's get ready to array. my little arm rag um got certain parts that you know i am working on i did cut my hair to uh maybe a two and a half or three um the other day about two or three days ago so i'm um, you know almost fresh off a of cut honestly so yep so let's get to my ways man and i'm really just kind of freestyling right now it's no really no script it's just me really honestly just talking forever um so so let's check out uh, my ways here. Uh, one thing I do hate about my rags 
and I pretty much need to start doing the um the patch. I know you've seen a lot of waivers with the patch on their crown, really to hold that crown in place. Um, that's been one of my issues um, or whatever. Help get my crown to stay in place. But you see what I'm working with, man. I can really tell on this side, this side has really come together. There's a little fort here, but it was way worse, honestly. Um, and we're finally kind of getting that out. What I don't do, y'all, I mean, and you don't have to do this. Most people brush for hours and hours. I pretty much just pick a brush up and brush when I can, especially while I'm at work, if I'm not doing nothing. I'll pick the brush up or I'm at home, doing whatever. I'll pick the brush up and just, just brush, you know. Um, and that's like, you know, without a mirror, so it's blind brushing, but, you know, I know my angles. I really don't have to, you know, do anything different or do anything weird. What I can say, whenever you're going to your crown, um, make sure you use a brush always, I mean, not brush, a mirror. Darren, what am I talking about? Make sure you always use a mirror, you know what I'm saying, um, to make sure you get the right angles of that crown here. You have to believe my crown is looking a whole lot better. Close it up nicely. And I'm using my watch as a mirror, so those who don't have a mirror, which I do have on my hand, but the way I got my camera facing, I'm trying to get the best quality, which is the rear camera. So that's a nice shot right there. But you see that fork right here? I'm slowly working it out. Try to work it down to this next line here, and we'll be good money. Um, let's take a look at my top here. Um, my top has always pretty much been good. Got that same fork, which it looks like a lot of 540 waivers have that same fork, like uh, right here. A lot of 540 waivers have that same fork. So maybe it's something about the brush angle or whatever that we're using. Um, so there's my left side. Of course, you know, it's work in progress. I got that fork right there. I need to work out and most definitely work on my back. You know. Look, in the comment section, um, comment your weakness. What what about waving is your weakness? What is the hardest part to you about waving? Mine is honestly keeping my hair moisturized real good. Um, I've tried different things, um, different methods, um, stuff that you know other YouTube waivers are doing, um, stuff you see on IG. A lot has not worked, but um, keep my hair moisturized, man. I think that's one of the biggest things about waving. You know, not so much as brushing your hair, but just hair health all together. Because if you don't have hair health, your your waves aren't gonna aren't gonna look good. Matter of fact, your your hair is gonna be damaged, and this is gonna be a catastrophe, honestly. Um, but I mean, my my hair looks good here. But, you know, that's just one of my weaknesses, man. That and then my, I had my back perfect at one point, but I kind of shifted stuff. And when I shifted my side, actually, I had to brush my back different, which caused a lot of issues. Cause I mean, my back was honestly flawless for real. Of course, you know, we got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Um, 
just trying to get my ways to the best I can get them. I mean, I'm talking about elite status. I don't want just normal ways, you know, something to post on IG to get a bunch of likes. Nah, I want to be notarized for my ways. You know, on the pages, I really don't say too much. Um, I just post pics and that's pretty much it, but yeah. I mean, all you can do is brush, you know? Well, my hair is actually looking pretty good. Like, looking good. I can't complain about it at all. I think that cut really helped me out. Just that little crown area. I gotta watch. Shout out to the people on the wave pages, man. Cause honestly, a lot of the tips I got wasn't from IG. It wasn't from YouTube. It was off the wave pages on uh, angles and all that good type of stuff, you know. Watching other people who are, uh, has the same pattern that I do. Watching how they kind of brush their hair and how they uh, maintain, how they tie their do-rags and, you know, I'm not like known, known to have way for ways or whatever. I mean, in my community, in my city I am, but as far as like on the pages, on the internet, I'm not known, known, but I guess, you know, that comes with being more active and being in the community a lot more. So that's something I need to work on, is being more, I guess, social, on um, social media, I guess. But, you know, again, that's something we're gonna work on. So I'm gonna get down, pat down. But my top, man, I love my top. And this side right here, which is my right side, was one of my trouble sides, honestly. Like, it gave me hell, because this is the side I had to switch up. Thank God my front, my top just kinda moved where I needed to move, but this is definitely one of the sides that gave me a lot of hell. And this was like my best side here. But now I believe my other side is the best side to me. But that's how I be. And the reason that is, the reason what that happened, the reason why that happened was because I paid or put more attention to this side. You know what I'm saying? Like. And it be like that sometimes because you know what your trouble side is, so you're gonna automatically like you know attack that side a little more than the other sides. But I put a little more um, attention to that side, and now I feel like that side has become the better side. What you think? I mean, hit the comment section. Which side you feel like the, the best side? This one or this side? This is my left side right here. The other side was the right side. So left. Right. And look, we're gonna stop brushing for a second, but go to um, you know this video or any video and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe and join the 540 gang. Again, follow me on Instagram at 540 TV. 540 TV is everything. Snapchat, um, Twitter, Facebook. Um, join me at 540 T E T. I said T E. TV blooper <laughs> 540 TV man you know what I'm saying I just want to come get this little quick update drop a video um again I got more videos coming tomorrow uh, I'm gonna do some little vlogging or whatever maybe on my GoPro under the water in the swimming pool or whatnot so make sure y'all be safe man through this COVID-19 and that's what I've been doing also too man um I work for OYC Medical um and we were doing a lot of COVID 19 tests on you know, people trying to keep our community safe, man. Keep our community safe. But you know, this COVID 19 is no joke. There's nothing to joke around with. So if y'all haven't got tested, get tested, man, just for the fact of knowing if you're negative or positive for one. And then that if you are um, positive, you know what to do and the steps that you need to take to become negative, to, to beat COVID pretty much. 
and also not affect any of your family members or any of your friends, co-workers or, and so on. Because there's stuff you need to do if you are positive. And which, you being positive does not mean that you're gonna die at all. It just means that, you know, you have contracted um, COVID-19 and you need to beat it. You need to get rid of it, you know? So, yep, man. So, look, I'm pretty much done with this video. I'm going to keep kind of brushing, just get a little brush session in, um, work on my way some. So, again, make sure y'all subscribe. Thank y'all for watching the video. I'm going to be back with more videos soon. So, I will holler at y'all later. All right, peace.